you must promise not to tell anyone about this. Okay. We promise. Right, here it is. <laughs> what do you think? Great, huh? Wow. <laughs> we rescued the model that Chris made of Zorro, and Leon fixed the head back on. You did a great job, Leon. The whole thing moves on wheels by pushing the pedals inside the horse. You're so clever, Leon. Ho, ha, ya. Yay, little Zorro. Can you move his sword, Bernard? Just watch this. <laughs> That's incredible! They're really scary, Bernard! I'm sorry, Nikita, but you just have to admit that this model looks just like the real Zaro. Yeah, but do you know what would make it really perfect? If I could get it to fly! Zaro with wings? I wonder what the real Zaro would say about that, Leon! Ah! Hold tight! <laughs> <laughs> I will make him fly! That's a great idea! We'll all help you, Leon! Yay! Yay! I'm not sure I want to go on it! Hey, guys, where are you? Hey! Whoa! It was horrible! I saw it all! What did you see, Senor? Oh, there's a robbery going on. You heard what I said. Get down from the carriage quietly and no one will get hurt. You must be crazy. Do you know who I have on board? The Governor General. I can promise you, you'll regret your actions. Hmm, shut up. We want to talk to the Governor General. I'll run him down, sir. Huh? We must try and help him, Bernard. There's no time to get Zorro, but we can't stand by and do nothing to help. Come on out, Governor General, and fast. We're gonna go down there and help! <sighs> Make a run for it, sir! <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> <laughs> you look a little tied up, Governor. <laughs> Is it money you want? Uh, I have some gold coins here in my pocket. Take them. <laughs> I'm not interested in your loose change. What do you want? What we want is your life, Governor. Yeah, yeah but, but why? Why is it you want to kill me? Someone has paid me very handsomely to get rid of you. I'm afraid he don't like you all that much. Who paid you? I'm sorry, Governor, but it's nothing personal. Ha! Hold it right there! Huh? It's Zorro! Oh, Zorro. Stop this terrible deed! You have no right to terrify this old man! You are very evil bandits! Zorro is sworn to avenge injustice! Be warned! Ready! Okay, here we go! Damn you, Zorro. Why did you have to turn up? <laughs> You cannot kill me with your puny weapon. Zorro is immortal. Full speed ahead. You, you got, got it. <laughs> Any ideas? Now we are. I thought you were better than that, Zorro. It's tomato time! Uh, hey, I can't see. Help! Help! Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, we got him! Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got the bandits! Uh, <laughs> What's that? Soldiers, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Hooray! We did it! We beat them! They're running away! Yeah, no problem! I knew we would! 
Zaro, even though we are enemies, you still saved my life. I appreciate that and would like to show my appreciation. It was a very brave thing you did. Well, well why don't you answer? Have you gone crazy, Governor? Zaro can't answer you because it's not real! Not real? Come out, everyone! Boy, that was hard work. It's not easy being a horse. Uh, what? This is an imitation? <laughs> I had no idea it would work as well as that. Uh, it was great, Leon. I can't believe it. I've been rescued by a bunch of kids. You sure have. Kids can be very clever, you know. Uh, I know. You guys have been very clever. You deserve a reward. We didn't help you so we could get a reward. Mm, I understand. You've been very good citizens. I shall make sure the whole town knows of your heroic deeds. <laughs> now, be good kids and untie me at once. Of course. Wait a minute, Nikita. Huh? He's a very influential man. Well, he is the governor. If you were to give them orders, the army would obey you, wouldn't they, governor? Uh, the army? Well, of course. That's just what I wanted to hear. Oh. oh. Governor General, from now on, you're our prisoner. <gasps> oh. What? Kidnapping? Yes, the news is all over town. But who is it that's been kidnapped, Lolita? The Governor General. Apparently, Zaro took him, and the army have been sent out to hunt him down. What? Zaro? This has gone far enough. You must let me go at once. <laughs> Untie this rope, do you hear me? Don't get angry, Governor. You always remember. Yeah, we saved your life back there. Yeah, I know, but I've thanked you. We want to tell you a few home truths about the army. Like what? You're a man. They terrorized most of the shopkeepers for a start. Instead of keeping the peace, they made the shopkeepers hand over protection money. The price of food goes up. And we end up hungry. <sighs> Rubbish. Impossible. You're not turning a blind eye to it, are you? Mm, don't be ridiculous, girl. My soldiers would never act in the way that you're suggesting. Then why do you think Zorro is around? Zorro is a criminal. He's the one causing trouble around here, not the army. That's don't not true. He's over. a good man. Zorro's a great guy. You might as well save your breath. The governor general isn't interested in the truth. I won't listen to any more of this nonsense. Huh? <gasps> In there! That's where Zorro and his gang took the governor. You've done well. The governor will be pleased with you. Hmm. Attention, kidnappers! We have got you completely surrounded. Lay your weapons down and come out with your hands up. Ugh. Now Ooh. we're really in trouble. Oh, dear. What should we do, Bernard? They think we're real kidnappers. We could be in serious trouble. Don't worry. I do. No response, sir. I'll try. This is Lieutenant Gabriel. Listen, Zaro. If you don't release the governor, I will make sure you all hang. Ah! Uh, I don't want to uh, die. Uh, me neither. Come on, Bernard. What would Zaro do now? Hmm. Right. The only thing we can do now is to fight him. What? what? We have the advantage here. They think Zorro is with us for a start. And they won't risk an all-out attack because the governor may get hurt. Are you sure? Look, we just got to stay calm. I'm sure it won't be long before Zorro and little Zorro turn up to rescue us. And then, together, we will rise up and smash the enemy of the people. <laughs> Lieutenant, it is a demand from the kidnappers. Read it out. Our demands. We want Sergeant Gonzalez to bring us a basket of cream cakes. Cakes? That's what it says. What have you done, Bernard? Is it really Zorro that has kidnapped the Governor General? Well, I can't see very clearly from here. Let me take a look, Diego. Oh, my mind, you don't drop it. Oh! Oh, I don't believe I'm doing this. I'll be the laughing stock of the regiment. Here is your first demand. Don't shoot me. I'm unarmed. Here's our second demand. 
The army must return all the unfair taxes to the people it took them from. I'll see what I can do. Our demand must be met by tomorrow morning, otherwise you'll never see the governor again. Well, they want us to repay all the taxes we have taken. Ugh, oh, do they? That's a good idea. You've taken far too much from us lately. I hope they keep the governor. Down with the army. Ooh. Ooh. Quickly, go and arrest those men. Ooh. Run, 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 run. Quickly, It's getting quick. dangerous here, Lolita. Let's get back to town. What? But things are just getting interesting. Look, the mood Gabriel's in, there's no telling what he might do. <sighs> okay. Oh, no! This is the last one! Well, I couldn't eat any more. I could get used to this. These cakes are delicious. Just imagine eating like this every day. It'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, but soon all your teeth would turn bad and fall out. Oh, no, they wouldn't. You should stop this silly game now. Think of your poor parents. They'll be worried sick by now. <sighs> He's right. My poor mom and dad have no idea where I am, Bernard. We mustn't give up, Nikita. We have to keep holding on. The townspeople are behind us, understand? Hmm? Oh. Gabriel, people are beginning to openly support the kidnapping of the Governor General. We don't want to ride on our hands. Of course not, sir. When I hired those assassins to kill the governor, they promised me they could accomplish it easily, but they let me down. It wasn't our fault. Huh? Snake! What are you doing here? Someone may have seen you! Something seems to have slipped your mind, Lieutenant. You haven't paid me the other half of the money. How can you expect payment when you failed in the assassination? Now, you wouldn't want me to tell the town that you paid me to kill the governor, would you? Hold your tongue! Don't worry, I've got a plan. You pull your men back from the house, I'll get in and kill the governor. You tell everyone it was Zorro, then you hang him, and your problem's solved. <sighs> You're a very cunning man, Mr. Snake. So are you, Commander. Hmm? Here, take it. It's all there. Huh. Leave it to me. They accepted the plan and paid me the rest of the money. Well done, boss. Now you all know what to do. We'll get them this time. Huh, we sure will. As soon as the soldiers from Moose, we blow up the house, right? Yeah, yeah. blow up the house. <laughs> <laughs> the army have paid them to kill the governor. The troops are all here, Lieutenant. I had just been informed that the governor general has been released. Apparently, he's home safe and sound, that's all. What? But Zorro is still there! The house is empty, Sergeant Gonzalez. You are to return to your barracks immediately. Why don't you give up now? Enough is enough. I'm sure the army will treat you fairly, especially as your little children. Hey, the soldiers are all going away. They're what? Now's our chance to escape! They might be trying to trick us! Nikita's right. Huh? It's a trap! Huh? Zaro! Wow! So at last you've come to rescue us, Zaro! I told everyone you'd show up! I'm very disappointed in you kids. How could you do such a thing? But Zaro! The army have agreed to give everybody their taxes back! We've scored a great victory! Commander Raymond would never agree to do that, I'm afraid. Huh? He's ordered the soldiers back, and then a paid killer will come in and kill the governor. What? Commander Raymond would never do such a thing. You lie. Then how do you explain that the assassins knew what time you were traveling and what route you would take? It was supposed to be a secret. Huh? You see, I'm sorry, governor. I know it's difficult to accept, but it's true. Listen, if you stay here, then all our lives are in great danger. Uh. Hey, we're on fire! They're trying to smoke us out into the open. As soon as they come out, kill them. No one must live to tell the tale. Leave Zaro to me. I'll finish him off.
I recognize those men. They attacked me this afternoon. Then you must believe me. I've been telling you the truth. Raymond wants you dead. Oh. Oh. Take cover, everyone. I don't want to die. No. Try not to panic. Hey, Bernard, I want you to lead everyone here to safety, OK? Huh? Mm. No problem. When we get out there, I'll distract their attention while you all run into the woods as quickly as you can. Mm-hmm. Got it. There's Sorrow! Up there! You men are nothing more than animals! To kill innocent people for money is evil. Chew on this. <laughs> Now's your chance, Bernard. Run to the woods! Don't stop pedaling, guys! Go as fast as you can! This time, Sorrow. All right. You don't kill me that easily. You've done it now. I'll get you, Sorrow. They're like lambs going to the slaughter. Secret weapon! Weapon away! <laughs> Let's see how you like this, Zaro. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> It's no use running. <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, my eyes! I can't see! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not a finish, you, Zaro. Quick, Zaro, behind you! Huh? Ah. Oh! oh. I'm okay, Bernard. Look after yourself. Huh. Now where were we? Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill the blinded Zaro. I'll make sure I don't miss his heart this time. Huh? Yeah! I'll creep up on him nice and easy, then strike. I'm a sitting duck. Which direction will he attack from? Must listen carefully. Where is he? Huh? Gold coins betrayed me in the end. Uh. No, Snake. You betrayed yourself. Uh, yeah, I guess I did. Uh. Whoa, boy. Governor General, thank God you're safe. Yes, thank you. Tell me, Commander, why did you withdraw the troops from around the house? We received information that you had escaped and returned home, Governor. Zaro is to blame for all this treachery. It was Zaro who helped save my life. Zaro helped you? Yes, Zaro. I understand why the local people respect him so much. Please don't be deceived by him, Governor. 
Zaro is a common criminal. Really? Uh. After today, I just don't know who is right or who is wrong, Commander. No more taking the law into your own hands, Bernard. Well, we can't promise that, Zorro. We must fight back until our town is left in peace. Right, gang? Yay! Yay! Hmm. Well, take care. My legs are killing me, Cassass. How much further, Bernard? Our legs are dropping off. Nearly there, guys. Only three kilometers to go. <laughs> The crossbow is a deadly weapon, especially when it's in the hands of the army. When Zorro embarks on a perilous rescue mission, his efforts are thwarted by a mystery soldier who's an expert with the powerful bow. When a miner gets trapped deep underground, a hero risks his life to save him. But has his luck finally run out? Will Zorro live to save the man from an underground tomb? Find out in the next episode of Zorro!